I think the 25 years is reflective of the fact that it's been, there was an important need 25 years ago, important need for non-sectarian caring service. I think it says a lot about our community that um, Horizon House has been here for 25 years um, because without the community supporting Horizon House, they wouldn't be here. Horizon House is a, a proven organization. They have proven results. You know. To be human is to recognize the dignity of all human life. We use Horizon House as the agency in our community who provides the hand up that people really need. There's people that come here today that this is the only place in the city they can go to. There's no barriers to being homeless. There's, we have hundreds of veterans in this town that are homeless. The demographics is very, very broad in terms of who's affected by homelessness. They're young, they're old, a lot of them are children. Working on the hospital, I learned that some people become homeless because of their illness. Bob was a gentleman who came here. I think he might have just fell on hard times, but um, it was a time where it seemed like he was kind of giving up. The simple things that we take for granted are often um, the most impactful when you understand the impact of homelessness. When you've experienced any kind of homelessness, particularly if it's gone on for any time, you can't just walk in and be that person you were 10 years ago. You know, they were kind to me. They told me I could go get something to eat. There's hot coffee right there. I mean, it was all there. You know, to start out, to go out in the world, you have to take a shower, right? How can you get a job without a shower? So it's from the smallest thing to the largest things. There are clients at Horizon House who are working every day yet don't have home to live in. And then surrounding that with professional services, case management support, uh, legal services, medical care, mental health care, job training, job placement. The outreach team provides an important service for our neighbors that for trust reasons, fear reasons, or other reasons are not comfortable coming to the facilities at Horizon House. Just because someone isn't ready to engage, it doesn't mean that we discount them. Um, so, you know, they have a, a folks, team of folks that are out on the street that are uh, really trying to help bring um, those that have substance abuse and mental issues in and provide the uh, access to the services that they need. Neighbor was killed. Neighbor froze to death. Those are the lowest of lows you can experience in outreach. If you're out there on your own, it's very, very difficult to try to be successful. Um, the whole concept of the day room is to build trust. A success is developing that relationship with somebody that they are trusting enough to come back and talk to you about other problems that they're having. Yeah, it's too bad you can't even tell the story about how hard it is just to get folks to come in uh, you know, to, to be open to counseling and then be able to have that success of being able to find uh, employment, willing employers and match them up with folks that are, are in need of that employment and, and get them permanently housed. Uh, that's impressive. I think every person that comes through here is a success story in their own way. If it's just getting that bus ticket or being able to pick up their mail and that's what their goal was, boom, success. Because we collaborate so heavily in Indianapolis, the impact of getting employment, getting housing, getting medical treatment. And so when you help Horizon House, you're really helping the entire city. A not so obvious impact really would be to our community where our public spaces, uh, such as our libraries and our hotel lobbies and uh, coffee shops, just to name a few, would become our day room. What can we do more systematically to try to put an end to this problem that's really destroying people's lives and, and taking a toll on our community? So chronic homelessness continues. It's a, it's a critical, ongoing issue in, in Indianapolis and all around the country. I could lose my job anytime, 
and end up right back on the street again. Horizon House is a good place to, to help someone, you know, to get where they need to be to end their homelessness. My life changed at that point, and, um, and, it was, um, and it was for the good, you know, so I came over here. Ideally, I'd love to see us put ourselves out of business, but unfortunately, the realities of, you know, our world today are that we're seeing more people finding themselves struggling with homelessness and the consequences of, of that condition. And again, with Horizon House, it doesn't matter what your history is or what decisions you've made. They're here for individuals now, and it's about that next step, that next phase of life. I know in working with Horizon House, it's very results driven. And so if a funder is looking to make a difference in people's lives and want to see that there are good outcomes, Horizon House is one of those organizations that does have good outcomes. Well, we all know, I think from the statistics, how many people we've served over the years and how many people have housing, how many people just come in, and it's thousands. So I just say, well, what if we weren't here for 25 years? It would be a different city if we weren't here. Well, you've just heard our story, and I couldn't have said it any better. I'm Teresa Wessel, Executive Director of Horizon House, and we need your help. We need your help to continue providing these critical services for the next 25 years. And how can you do that? You can do that by donating your time, your talent, and your treasures. So I would ask that you join Horizon House and be part of the solution to end homelessness here in Indianapolis. Thank you.